Hi, I'm Winston Scott. I was a mission specialist on STS-72, which was on the space shuttle Endeavour. And uh, we spent nine days in orbit on Endeavour back in 1996. Our mission was microgravity. We performed many, many microgravity experiments, but we were also preparing to build the International Space Station. So a lot of our work had to do with uh, engineering and construction and assembly. I performed my first spacewalk on that flight. And uh, during that spacewalk, again, we tested many tools, techniques, and equipment to build the International Space Station. We're really proud of our mission patch on that, on the, for that flight. I have the patch held up in front of me right here. And uh, we're proud primarily because we designed this patch ourselves and everything on there has a meaning. As you can see, there's a picture of the space shuttle itself. And that is the space shuttle Endeavour. Endeavour was the newest of the shuttles. As you can see on the end of the robot arm is a golden satellite. That satellite is the uh, OST satellite. That is the uh, Office of Aerospace and Science Technology satellite, which uh, we took into orbit with us, deploying it, and then we retrieved it and brought it back home. The other satellite with the solar arrays extended is the uh, Japanese satellite space flyer unit. That satellite had been launched from Japan one year earlier. Our job was to go up and retrieve that satellite, uh, put it into the payload bay and bring it back home. Uh, it's interesting to note that one of our astronauts was uh, the first Japanese uh, full-fledged astronaut, that's Koichi Wakata. And Koichi's job, of course, was to operate the robot arm and grab the space fly unit. You can see the EVA figure there in the uh, patch, the, the person uh, with the, uh, uh, the space suit on, that represents the EVAs that took place on that flight. And we did do, perform two of them. I was able to perform one EVA on that flight. Around the perimeter of the uh, patch, uh, the crew members' names, of course, uh, Brian Duffy was our commander, Brent Jett was our pilot, uh, Leroy Chow was mission specialist uh, one, I was mission specialist two. Dan Barry was mission specialist three. The uh, octagon shape of the patch, and just reminded that is actually the shape of the uh, space flyer unit satellite, the Japanese satellite. And of course the number 72 at the bottom of the page there. Uh, you can see the uh, earth in the background there, and you can see the gold stars. The stars represent the locations on earth from which each one of our crew members came from. So if you look, there's a cluster of stars now in mid to south Florida. That's because I'm from Miami. Dan Barry had a connection with Miami. Brent Jett also had connects with Miami. If you look all the way to the left, you see the island, the, the uh, nation of Japan there, there's a star. That's Koichi Wakata. So anyway, the, the gold stars on the earth in the background represent the place from which we all came. So again, we're really proud of this, uh, this patch. What you can't see, and I wish the fidelity was good enough, but I have to tell you all the secret. This crew liked to play basketball. We played basketball together. If we could magnify the inside of that shuttle on there, you would see a tiny, tiny basketball inside of the space shuttle. And it actually appears on the patch. So we wanted to see if we could sneak that by the patch reviewers in Washington, D.C., and indeed, it got snuck by them because it's recorded in all of the books that show a high-fidelity picture of the uh, patch. So again, my patch from STS-72, Winston Scott, and I'm happy to share that with you.